Student's Book, page 12. 2. The Perfect Present Jim's favourite teacher was called Miss Point. Miss Point helped Jim learn lots of different things. She taught him about words and work and earache and emails and ships and shapes. She was never angry when Jim made spelling mistakes and she played basketball with Jim and his classmates in their morning break. Miss Point was great and Jim wanted to give her a present but he had no ideas. Jim went for a walk along the river and then sat down to think. He watched the water. He watched a frog that jumped off an old boat and caught three fat flies in the river plants. He watched a lizard that slept on a rock. He watched two bees that buzzed in circles above some ducks. It's so beautiful here, Jim said. Mr and Mrs Starr and their daughter, Grace, liked walking by the river too. They stopped when they saw Jim. Hi, Jim. Are you all right? Mrs Starr asked. Hello, Mrs Starr, Jim answered. I want to give my teacher a present, but it's difficult. Can you help me choose one? We can try, said Grace. What does your teacher like? She likes the internet and trips on the train and she loves weekends, answered Jim. But I can't give her those. No, said Mr Star. You can't. What colour does she like? She likes green, Jim said. She painted our bookcase green. I'd like to give her a green apple tree, or the prettiest green parrot in the world. But I can't do that. No, you can't, said Grace. Apple trees look nicer when they're growing in a field, and parrots look prettier when they're flying in the forest. How about a lime or some peas or beans? asked Mrs Starr. They're green. No, said Jim. I don't want to give her any of those things. Then a salad, asked Grace. Yes, said Jim. She likes salad. My aunt grows salad leaves in her garden. I can take us some of those. But that's not enough. Well, does she like the colour blue? asked Mr Star. Yes, said Jim. She painted our classroom door blue. I'd like to give her the beautiful blue sea or 500 blue flowers. But I can't give her those. No, you can't, said Grace. The sea looks nicer next to white sand. And blue flowers look more beautiful when they're growing in the green grass. What about a blue bowl or pen or a blue watch? asked Mrs Starr. No, said Jim. I don't want to give her any of those things. How about some blue grapes then? asked Grace. Oh, she loves grapes. That's a fantastic idea, Jim said. And we grow grapes in our garden. I can take her some of those. But that's not enough. Does she like yellow? Mr Star asked. Yes, answered Jim. Yellow's her favourite. Our classroom clock is yellow. 
I'd like to give her the sun or a yellow butterfly. But I can't give her those. No, said Grace. You can't. The sun looks more beautiful above the mountains, and yellow butterflies look prettier when they're flying in the sky. What about a yellow apple, some lemons, or a banana? asked Mrs. Star. No, said Jim. I don't want to give her any of those things. Cheese is yellow, Grace said. Yes, yes, she likes cheese. That's a brilliant idea. We make cheese at home from my favourite cow's milk, said Jim. I know my teacher loves the internet and train trips and weekends. But she loves picnics too. And green salad leaves, blue grapes, and yellow cheese are great things to take on a picnic. I can give her those. Thank you for helping me choose a perfect present for Miss Point. Jim and the Star family jumped up and walked slowly home. The frog jumped up too. And ate another fat fly.